just stifling out there, sweltering, broiling. You pick the right. adjective to describe today. Uh, yeah, going to be really, really rough out there. We deal with a little fog summit in Talladega this morning, sitting into the lower 70s right now. So be careful out there. Visibility has been dropping in a few places. So just be aware. We're going to watch out for that as the day goes on here. Uh, down in Jasper, about mile visibility near zero in Talladega. Now, Anderson, Coleman area, some light fog as we start off our morning as well. But not foggy downtown. I've seen on our BJCC camera. 75 there, dew point 71. There's your muggy air. Anytime there's dew points are in the 70s, that's pretty oppressive out there. We're at 73 degrees in Fayette, 78 Tuscaloosa, Moundville. How about that? Talladega, Anniston there, Asheville, all at 72 degrees. And the heat index, not too bad, sitting into the upper 60s to mid and upper 70s. That's not too shabby at this hour. Of course, it's still dark out there. Once the sun comes up, we start heating up. Things will quickly start to change across the area, so just be aware of that. This morning, we're looking at, again, a lot of sunshine once it comes up, of course. Temperatures quickly in the 90s, 94 by 1 o'clock this afternoon, 97 from Birmingham, Alabaster area back to Alex City, 99 Tuscaloosa, Faye Jasper there at 97, same for Asheville and Anniston, or Gadsden rather, coming in about 99 degrees. You factor in that humidity, will feel like 100, about 110 across central Alabama once again today. So we do have that heat advisory that expires actually now on Friday at 7 p.m. So we're going to continue watching that to continue to be an issue. So of course, good hot weather tips, a nice reminder. Some of you may think, oh, yeah, but just don't forget, stay hydrated, plenty of water, uh, and not really those sugary drinks. Wear lightweight, light colored clothes, take frequent breaks if you must, work outdoors, and never, ever leave kids or pets in the back seat of the car. Definitely check the back seat at all times. Everything is dry really locally here, not dealing with any kind of issues weather wise for us. High pressure building in from the Plain States, and that's going to help to keep things really quiet through Friday, even on into Saturday. By Sunday, that high starts retreating back to the west, and that'll help to change our weather just a little bit. So we're dry today, maybe a late day shower tomorrow. Saturday, a couple of showers, better chance rain Sunday, and especially Monday as a weak front works its way back into the area. But look at this highs in the upper 90s here. How about 105 to 110 the heat index the next couple of days through Saturday? So it's going to be a toasty one out there for sure. And you can see another vantage point of the same thing there as well, too. So here you see future cast again, really quiet out there through this afternoon from lunchtime through 3, 4 o'clock today. Heading on into dinner time and beyond. No issues weather wise. Now, as we head into tomorrow, we'll start off the morning clear, but as mentioned, late in the day Friday, could see a couple of showers trying to pop into the area there, so we'll be aware that we could see a few of those. They could get a little intense. That's why I'm going to throw a 10% chance for rain in. Otherwise, there you have the weekend 96 Saturday, 92 Sunday before scattered storms return next week and maybe becoming less humid by Wednesday.